Hi guys. How are you? It's in the morning. See, I'm wearing my coat. It's so cold. Like, oh my gosh, I it's, it's very very cold. I just want to show you how I show I told you that um when uh winter comes I'm going to my car. Uh, when winter comes in, what happens to the trees? Look at these trees. Look at the color. That one has completely changed to gold. Even this one here in my uh, outside, it just has changed. Look at it. Hmm? And the grass is really turning uh, to, uh, to become uh, gray. Actually, it's drying up. And normally what happens when it dries up, there is no, like there is no greenness. Look at that, this one. It's changing. Huh? So in, in uh, but you find that there are some that do not change. Look at that tree. It's starting to, to change. But there are some that are, are not going to change. Like this one, uh, that has, it's my, at my neighbor's. See, that one is still green. So that one is not going to change, guys. Uh, so it's the cold season. It's cold. It's like really, really cold. And I have to go out. So that's why I'm wearing my coat. So uh, I have a certain appointment that I am going to attend right now. And I was like, let me show them what's going on here. Because goodness, it's so cold. It's very, very cold. So that means that uh, soon... Soon the snow will be here. Uh, if you can watch those uh, leaves, I need you to see. Look at down there. The leaves have just, uh, see, they're just falling. Even, even, let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see that that tree is shedding. Uh, look at all those leaves on the floor. All those are going to fall down and that tree will be left with no leaf, even one leaf. So all of it is going to shed. And then uh, for the next, uh, we are in October. Actually, we are in November. So November, December, January, February, March. At least uh, by the, uh, and then when we come to April is when I find that uh, it will start raining very heavily and the trees will come back. But this is it, guys. It is so cold. Like, you just don't want to get out. Uh, but uh, you find that the coldness, the coldness is not going to stop you from uh, doing anything. So I'm just driving uh, outside my yard. Uh, let me adjust my seat here. Okay. I'm just going to kind of show you uh, how it is. Because, guys, but you see, some are still green, like this one here. This one is not going to change, I can tell. But then the neighboring tree is going to shed all of it. Now, as you can see, look, these ones have really, 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 really changed. I'm trying to zoom in there so that you guys can see. So it's just cold, like very, very cold. And you find that... Um, when it becomes this cold, most people do not like working uh, outside because it's very, very cold. So uh, the work that uh, remains when the seasons just change is indoor work. So when people who are working inside the house, they can go work. But you find that if something like uh, road constructions, whatever, those ones tend to slow down because uh, you know you have to be outside so uh those ones slow down now another thing uh about uh, this cold season is that uh you have to heat your house you have to put your house on heat otherwise you will freeze to death you don't want to freeze to death so uh you have to do that when you see see i just want you to see how beautiful it is in fall it's called fall because the trees are they're just shedding their leaves it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful in fall. Um, so uh, I just wanted to share uh, because I remember when I was in our primary school, we never used to know like uh, what were the seasons. 
because they would say fall, they would say spring, they would say winter. And we didn't understand when we were doing geography because they were teaching us um, they were teaching us the seasons. So you find that here in the US you are able to observe all the seasons. Look at all that brownness uh, with green. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guys. Look at these trees over here. All these are brown. That's oh my gosh, this this is just I just it's just beautiful guys. Uh, just uh, to share it with you and just to show you that the weather has changed now it's very very cold and uh, basically when it's this cold you have to warm up put on a jacket stay warm you know and then uh, you find that uh, during the cold season normally ha what happens is that everyone needs to get a flu shot hmm? let me camera here was me so everybody needs to get a flu shot but you find that right now inside my car i don't need to wear the coat but i'm still wearing it because i don't want to uh, remove it and put it back because my car has a heater so you find that most cars will have a heat inside so that when it's freezing outside you come and turn on your car uh it's gonna it's gonna be whatever it's gonna be warm because you can't stand the cold temperatures um in kansas it becomes extremely cold and uh, during winter fall and winter and uh, when it's summer it becomes extremely hot so um you have to be able to go with the times uh so you'll see uh, uh people dressed are uh, very heavily but uh, the funny thing in back about uh, these roads is that there is nobody who is walking because the weather has changed you'll find that not people not many people will be walking around uh, because uh it's so cold it's very very cold uh, so people who like going for walks, uh, they have stopped and uh, until uh, the weather uh, becomes better again. Uh, so uh, if you like exercising, you find that here in the U.S. you like to exercise maybe in the morning or whatever time that you like to exercise. Uh, normally what happens, you have a gym in the house or you have an equipment that you can use uh, to just uh, do your exercises in the house because it's important for you are uh, to do uh, the gym work so uh, so that's how it goes so guys it's cold now I'm standing at the uh, at, at the stop uh, stop lights the, the lights are red so I have to wait a little bit uh, like I said I'm going to, uh, to an appointment this morning and I had to show you because when I woke up in the morning who it was freezing it was really really freezing so um, you find that uh, when you come to live here, you will have clothes for seasons. Now, like right now, uh, all the light blankets, the light bed covers, we have folded them and put them away. Huh? So I just want you to see uh, how it looks. Uh, we have that grass hasn't changed yet, but soon it's gonna change. Uh, you find that um, you keep the the warm clothes. You know, they're just, they're just the light ones that you are used to covering yourself with. And then you replace your bed with a, with a, with a more warm uh, bed cover. Um, at the same time, the clothing, you find that all those open clothes that are, you are wearing outdoors, you are not able to wear them outdoors anymore. You have to have a coat, uh, have a, a heavy coat. Of course, you have to have something like this, you know, just to cover yourself up. Look at that. That looks good right <laughs> so you have to have a coat uh, a, a coat with a hoodie that way you can cover yourself up uh, you find that uh, when it becomes extremely cold because it's cold but it's, it hasn't reached there this is just a taste of it uh, so when it reaches there what's gonna happen is that I'll be putting on gloves you put on uh, 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 whatever uh, 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 a needle whatever that's what we call it the one that is made by thread yeah and then you put on your hoodie you put on a sweater inside like guys uh, you really really have to take care of yourself i was talking about the flu shot you have to uh, get a flu shot i know there are some people who get the flu shot and the others do not get a flu shot but for me and i think uh, just even uh being a healthcare worker working uh, in the healthcare i know that a flu shot is important it's very important to have a flu shot because if you end up having the flu here you will have you can get a disease called the flu it's very bad 
and if you get that disease you find that it, it can even kill you because uh it's because of this cold season you know it's just very cold 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 so there's that shot that uh, you have to get every year um when uh, the weather changes because you have to your body it gives your body more immunity so even if you get the flu it is not going to affect you so much and at the same time uh, they've been talking so much about covid and whatever and you find that people have been refusing to be vaccinated i don't understand for me i don't understand why you refuse to be vaccinated like me i was vaccinated like uh, as soon as uh, the vaccine came out and nothing happened to me you know people are just making like very vague reasons that they do not want to be vaccinated but you find that the same same people who are saying that i am not going to be vaccinated because uh maybe uh, they want to eliminate us or whatever you know such such crap you know it's, it's it doesn't make sense to me you find that when they are sick in the bed hmm? because um when they are sick and uh, they cannot breathe anymore let me turn the camera so that you can see uh, what's going on uh, look at that grass that grass over there let me zoom in a little bit for you look at that grass there it's um it's golden it's golden so uh you find that uh when uh i'm talking about the vaccine the covid vaccine people are refusing to be vaccinated oh my gosh i don't know what's up with this light but we will go i think <laughs> i think that light i don't know it did turn green but whatever so um uh, I don't know, but now you find that uh, it's like the government is uh, trying to have the people vaccinated because they know the importance of the vaccine. So you find that the people who have been refusing, especially in healthcare, there are some uh, areas that are not going to hire them. Mm? You will stop working because you have refused to be vaccinated. So it's very, very, very important for you to be vaccinated. And if you refuse, uh, now it has become bad because uh, they had a deadline that they were giving people that uh, you have to be uh, vaccinated at this time and if you do not uh, get vaccinated then you will have to quit your job hmm? so that's how bad it is uh or oh, that's how serious it is because uh and what i don't understand is uh you have a family and to take care of you have a responsibility but you are telling your family that uh they do not need to be vaccinated like really you know really why why uh, why that and you find that when uh, people who have gotten covid um uh, they are they are saying that it is different it is different from where they from how they were before they got covid hmm? and we know i was watching another guy who was saying that uh before he got covid um he was uh, doing his exercises nicely he would go to the gym and do all that stuff but right now he says that he's not able to, you know, uh, he's not able to do it. So you find that I think for me, I believe that vaccinations are very, very important. When you are vaccinated, uh, it prevents you, even if you get, because I know uh, it's it, you can still get COVID even if you are vaccinated. Uh, that can happen. But at the same time, you find that if you get it, it is not going to be very severe. Hmm? It is not going to be very severe, so uh, you will be able to uh, recover very, very fast as compared to someone who has not been vaccinated. So it's very, very important. I'm trying to park my car here so that I can get out. So guys, I just needed uh, to do a small video and you like uh, what's going on, how the weather is and uh, what we have to do uh, when the weather changes of course even the kids we have to dress them up warm who put, uh, put like a uh, very warm tights uh trousers inside uh the clothes that they are wearing or have them just wear you know the, the winter clothes are a little bit heavier and of course uh, they have more warm so guys uh, i hope that you enjoyed this video and uh until next time god bless you and stay safe thank you